market soybeans retreated today about a nickel sometimes at some point maybe even six cents but profit taking really uh, stepped in to really start this week uh, as we're preparing for the uh, WASDI report that's coming in on Thursday. Now outside markets did help the market originally because the stock market was up about 350 points today, although uh, the soybeans just wouldn't have it. Money managers are also net long, so that just tells you how the profit taking really just took over the market somewhat. Now Friday, uh, it the rally kind of stalled out and today they just took a little bit back. That doesn't mean that the rally is completely over, but that means we did hit some uh, resistance area. Now remember too that this week normally is when the seasonal highs get set in for the grain markets. That's something to watch. Corn is on the rise today. I think there's been a steady follow through over and over and we did really just break out of that channel of that uh, 330 mark. So we need a little more follow through buying to see if the market can continue to uh, you know, move higher. Uh, we were thinking that maybe 350 would be the number. I mean, that wouldn't be that outlandish of a number, but uh, we'll see. It's interesting to note that managed funds have been on the short side. Uh, crop progress is up to uh, almost 98% uh, uh, completely uh, finished for, um, you know, for seeding. So uh, it's kind of difficult to see this market just uh, being very strong. Now, one thing also to look at for corn is that the uh, crude oil is up and maybe giving the ethanol a little bit of a bump and that's helping the market as well. Now we did fall today uh, yet again. Those global supplies are really plentiful. There really just hasn't been any traction above that 530 number. And now the market retreats all the way back. Now we're back to 501 or 509, I think uh, maybe a little bit lower, but $5 is a real benchmark and that's gonna be a huge support number right now. But again, uh, managed uh, funds are uh, short wheat and the forecast also is that the uh, the feed demand is going to be down 4% across the world. Uh, that's really a pretty big number and uh, that's going to take some real heavy lifting to get this market to move any higher.